Hello everyone. This is Laura from the Queen of Mirth and I have some things to show you. The other day I was decluttering and I happened upon an old suitcase, actually a train case to be precise, that was in a closet. So I opened it up and I found all kinds of treasures. I found um, handmade books and handmade postcards mail art, and I also found a collection of paper dolls that were made in a swap that I was in in the year 2000. And all of these things have been kept in this little train case, suitcasey thing. And I was so happy to be able to go through everything. And I thought I would share with you the paper dolls because I think they would be perfect for journal dolls. And I would, I wasn't into junk journals in 2000, um, but I was into bookmaking. But these dolls were just um, for a paper doll swap because I've always loved paper dolls. And I've been making them ever since I can basically remember because I used to, when I was a small child, cut pictures out of magazines, like pictures of children and out of catalogs, actually the Sears catalog and the Eaton's catalog in Canada. And I would cut the children out if they were full sized. And then I would cut out some of the clothes that I liked and put little tabs on the shoulders and try to make them fit the dolls that I had cut out. It was something that occupied me for hours when I was really small. And I've carried on with the love of paper dolls. And I'm so happy to share these ones with you today. So I'm going to, like the per the people who made them have their names on the back. So I do want to tell you who made, who made them. And I don't know if those people are watching my channel or anything, but in any event, we need to know. So this one says 2000 Darlene Lyon Cruz. And this is the dolly that she made for the for the little swap that I was in. By the way, my doll, the one that I made for it, is not in this collection. I don't know what happened to her. And I don't know, I don't even really remember what she would have looked like. Too bad I didn't keep her. And anyway, or too bad I didn't keep her with the others, with her friends. Anyway, this is the one, this is the first one I'm going to show you. And it's pretty cool. Now, the next one is by Susan Merkel. And it's held, all the parts are held together with an eyelet, which I think is really a cute idea. And this is also a very creative dolly. The next one is a bit bigger and she would only fit in a full-size journal, I guess. And she's very interesting. She has a lot of three-dimensional things on her, like these look like, I don't know, glitter, glitter blobs or something. Very nice. And then this is a charm, a, a metal charm that is, you know, at her, at her throat with a, another larger um, blobby thing with, they're, these green ones, they have sparkles in them. So I'm not, I'm not really sure what they are. Um, and her boots are made of cardboard. It's all card, cardboard or cardstock. And, but it ha they have a very, sh very shiny finish. All these parts do, and including her hair. Now this one is made by Carol McPherson and kind of cool like she's like a she she's a kind of like a tag in a way and this is an eyelet if you hear that it's someone at my door it's a delivery and I'm not going to go and answer it but my dog Leroy is in charge of home security and he's kind of letting me know that something is going on here hi Leroy thank you for telling me okay so this one was by Carol McPherson, 
and she it's held together with brads and the the arms and the legs they move and she has a she has an eyelet up here with a cord so she can hang now this one is um I, I like this one a lot, and it, it, but she's unnamed. I don't have, I don't see any sign of who made her, but I love her because she can go either way. Like she can go this way or this way because she's made with double-sided cardstock or something like that. Actually, I think maybe the artist, um, the artist made the. Oh, here, just a minute, I see something here. It says Alhr, A-L-H-R 2000. So A-L-H-R, I don't know if that's her initials or what, but anyway, this is a, a beautiful thing. What I was saying is I, I kind of think that this is not just a cardstock from a, from a um, book that you buy. I think that the artist has actually created patterns and the beautiful designs on these papers. This looks like um, marble paper. It's lovely. I wish you could see this in, these in person. Now look at this girl. She is amazing. She, um, it says Karen Furman has made her. And I love this. She has, she has yarn for hair and it looks like her dress or her coat is made from real origami paper Japanese paper it's lovely and then she's put these golden dots on on it and then this apron is made from um, some kind of oriental paper with oriental writing on it Chinese writing and and then she has this and she ha she is like um, she, she has a I can't move her legs but but she does have legs under all of that with the shoes that are painted on and here here's the back of her and she's put together with small brads now this one is by Victoria Bunacek and she is also put together with brads, larger brads for this one. And she's definitely movable. Looks like this is a photograph of somebody for the face, which is a great idea. You can, photo, you know, um, photocopy and then cut out a photo of your friend's face or something and put it on your doll. And, and give that to your friend. That would be so cool. Anyway, yeah, or a vintage photo of a, of a face. Anyway, it, this is really great. It's There's a piece of copper here. The brads are part of the design, and the artist has painted the legs and the arms and the torso and, and also put some something here, some kind of triangles or something. Love it. Now, this one is called, there's, this one is by Susan Houghton. Just a minute, I don't remember if I said who made this last one. Oh, I did, okay, sorry. Um, this one is made by Susan Houghton and it's called Juggler on Unicycle. This is very cool, actually. She's put a wire, a wire with some beads, a wire with some beads that the juggler is holding. It looks like the juggler is made from a rubber stamp that has been colored. And then the unicycle is simply a paper disc. And it comes off like this. And then it just comes, it's very simple. The two slits in the, in the paper, create it, uh, the possibility of making a 3D design and giving the juggler 
his unicycle. I love it. It's so cool. So this is the last one, and it's the biggest one. Um, it has two sides, and the, the artist's name is on the tag that is attached to the top. And the tag is decorated on both sides, and it is made by Arlene Shipley who lives in, who, at least in 2000, she lived in Jacksonville, Florida. And it's called On Angel Wings. And this, it's very interesting. Um, it says, what am I worth? That's the question in red. And then it's all of her occupations. She's a gardener, accountant, makeup artist, confidant, daughter, beautician, neighbor, mannequin, temptress, ego builder, keeper of the faith, storyteller, beauty queen, lover, sister, animal trainer, employee, incubator, confessor, virgin cook, healer, nanny, saint, artist, um, disciplinarian, entertainer, nurturer, courtesan, Decorator, mother, teacher, chauffeur, friend, athlete, handywoman, housekeeper, babysitter, judge, wage earner, superwoman, jury, guard, wife, and maid. And then on this side is a, a lovely collage. And it looks to me as if it's made, it's, it's a photocopy of a collage that she probably made. I don't think it's a master board because it's too carefully set out. Anyway, it's it's really quite um, quite beautiful. And it's all images of women doing different things. So these are these are the um, these are the dolls, paper dolls that I found. And I'm really happy that I was able to share them with you. I hope you enjoyed the look through them. Now, I don't have to say that I haven't shared them because, you know, it's kind of sad to have them all in this suitcase for 21 years. Um, I think they want to come out and play. So I will be using them in my journaling. Thank you so much for being with me. And for subscribing to my channel. If you are subscribing to it, do enter my giveaway. I have a giveaway every month and the prize is always anything that the winner decides she would choose from my Etsy store. And I have more than 400 items in that store. So you might want to have a look and see if there's anything that you would like to win. Take good care of yourselves, and I hope to see you soon in the next video. Thank you. Bye.